This is a shower drain and sometimes these have a tendency to uh, start draining slow. So I'm going to show you a trick that you may not know about on how to unclog this. This little device we're going to use to try to pull out the hair. So I'm going to show, I'm going to show a little close up of it and um, it's got a spring. It's spring loaded and there's a handle on one side. You pull back on it and there's a little thing at the end with four little tongs on it that that springs out and we're going to use that and I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing we got to do is take these screws out because I'm going to pull this screen cover out of there. Now sometimes the screws are covered with grout, silicone, whatever. You got to kind of clean those out because you don't want to strip these screws off. You want to make sure you can get those out. Make sure when you unscrew this you don't drop these screws down the hole. Once you got those screws out of there, put the screws off to the side. You don't want them anywhere close here. You don't want to drop them down there. Then uh, you've got to go to the store and get another screw. Now pry this up carefully with the screwdriver. You may have to work on it depending how, how old your, your shower is. But you want to pull that up. Sometimes you've got hair on the back side of this that's hanging down and it's causing your drain to, to uh, uh, slowly drain. So uh, clean all that out. Put that off to the side. Sometimes you may get lucky to pour some Drano down there or something like that and let it set for a couple days and run hot water down through there and it, that may do the trick. But if not, I'm going to show you my little tool. Lots of times you've got things stuck down in there. So you can take the long tool and um, you can push it down in there and just reach down in there and this will go all the way down to your trap. So if your trap is less than two feet uh, from your floor, this will work. So, so try it out first, um, push it in there, grab whatever it is you can grab and pull it back out. Because believe me, sometimes this will do the trick. I know. The reason why I know is I crawled underneath the house one time, cut the pipe out, um, replaced the entire thing, and found out that it was hair sticking down off of these off of these screws, and I couldn't reach everything down there. It all it, it all built up, and Drano wasn't doing the trick. Had I had this little tool that I figured out later, I could have just reached down in there and pulled the stuff up. So now, anytime I drain clogs, I know I'm going to try this first. At this point, if you want to clean this all out, now's your chance. You can scrape this out, wipe it down, clean it off, clean around the edge here before you put your screws in, and uh, have it ready, and then we're going to screw this back down. Make sure you have this lined up. In, in some cases, you may have to put it back in exactly how you found it before, so make sure you have it lined up before you put your screws in. At this point, you're ready to put your screws back in, put them in, and put them in carefully. Don't drop them down the hole. Once you have your screws on there, go ahead and tighten them down, but just make them snug. You don't have to make them overly tight. You don't want to strip the heads off these screws. Some, sometimes uh, they're ready to be stripped anyways because they're waterlogged and that kind of thing. So just snug them down and you're done. This tool also comes in handy to pick up things behind your desk or refrigerator or anything like that. Really nice little tool to have.